Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with uh, permanent dark events. Enabled of course with nothing but rookies. And a few rookies uh, we have to finally go into the Black Side mission Operation Fallen Heroes upon us. Gotta investigate that big, big advent of a Lakeside facility, a difficult mission, a long mission. Uh, so I'm bringing a lot of ammunition just to manipulate the RNG in our favor. Specifically, the plus hit ammunition is important. We got two mimic beacons to get ourselves out of sticky situations. Only one explosive, so that needs to be enough and a bit of healing just in case we're running into a chosen which we all hope that's not going to happen, but we all somehow deep in ourselves uh, know that that might be the case. Chosen is just a menace of society. Let's see if I can pull this off, because this will be a real test of uh, endurance and strength, the first one in this campaign. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Very good. Time to land, and let's get that hopefully successful mission kicked off. As always, we're going to fight against almost 20 enemies here, but we have no time limit. So the name of the game is going to be High Ground because rookies need high ground and being a bit careful. Let's first of all do a blue move with uh, Epitelus. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Epitelos, one of our new rookies, just got him on board. Hats, uh, Mr. Valdez. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Venga, venga. And Hayward, of course. She has a fear uh, against the Chosen, so gotta be careful here not to move too fast with her. She also is the one with the heavy armor uh, so we might want to keep her in a sort of safe position until she has used uh, the explosive and afterwards with her armor she can actually tank quite decently all right time for uh, epitelus uh, to scout ahead we're looking good we're looking fine rest of the crew okay. charges up and well that's a pretty stupid way of moving but okay everybody overwatches uh, there are going to be a few patrols um, right there but that's okay it's to be expected that we're running into some What's a bit unfortunate is uh, the mutant here with his armor. So if possible, I would like to kill the mutant. Of course, if we explode the car, that would uh, solve the problem. But I want to keep our... Autos confirmed on the move. Our uh, explosives. Sighting. Also, we don't want to trigger two packs. Certainly not. Good. We're moving far enough away from one another to not be in range of potential grenades. And let's hope that this pack here is just staying out of the way for now. Okie dokie. So we're going to keep uh, Universe here. Uh, Universe has one of the best shots because uh, he has an, a magnetic pulse rifle, uh, the the one uh, from the DLC, so that has a improved scope in it. Hats, on the other hand, has a moderate shot, but a mimic beacon, which we could use as a fallback. So I would want to not use him immediately. 
We got some decent crit chance here. Not phenomenal, but a 90% uh, chance to hit this guy. <coughs> and I'm wondering... I don't want to use uh, the rocket launcher. If we were to overwatch... Actually take the overwatch shots. That could be better than them running into full cover. There is full cover available for them. Plenty, plenty of full cover. So we... Matter of fact, might be better off by overwatching. How about Hayward also overwatches heads, keeps back with his Mimic Beacon. We're going to start this whole thing by using our highest chance. There's a 40% chance to crit, and I really hope that that's going to work. 8 points of damage is good. That's good. That's very good. There we go. That worked like a charm. Alright, like I said, full cover. Um, could jump down. Ah, uh, that might reveal. Could jump down here. But I doubt that this is going to be much better from a uh, to-hit perspective. 60% is fine. And we are fighting against... The Hunter. So many choices. Good. Gotta get close to it. Can summon troopers does not care about overwatch and uh, creates overwatch shots himself if we actually engage him what i hope is that we can use our uh, explosives to get rid of uh, of his cover and then kill him luckily we're not on a timed mission not sure if I like or hate this. I mean, it was a crit, and she almost single-handedly solved that problem. At the same time, <clears throat> do they get a full, full round of actions? No, they don't. Okay. Well. Don't make this too easy on me. Moving a bit closer, but not so close uh, that we're triggering another pack. 91%. Looks good. Spot on. Like it. Moving close. And let's finish that Viper. Very good. 66%. We're going a bit closer just to get that weapon proximity at 69%. Not perfect, but weapon range plus 4% at least. Sometimes it makes all of the difference. Good. Keep in mind, I, s I separated uh, so that his incendiary grenade could not hit more than one person. And that is important to do from time to time. The losses aren't a huge problem. Maybe they can actually help us in defeating the Chosen. Because with their help, we should be... We should be much better off. Okay, before we're taking more shots... Let's... Use universes angles up here. Reloading. Good. We're moving into a bit of a better position here.
No longer a threat. I like it. Great accent. Good, we're reloading. Uh, let's put heads here for now. Can always put him uh, further up a little bit later. For now, shooting and reloading should be fine. Universe, overwatches. And you know what? Hayward can just finish this guy. Fresh reload. And off we go. There is one more loss left over. And there will be at least one more patrol as well. So we got to be a bit careful with that. What a bullshit is that? Since when can he use tracking shot with the losts? How does that even make sense? Both uh, factions hate one another. And Advent is fighting against the lost. Yet he can use his squad side. Because the losts are allowing him to do that. Sounds like a big pound of BS. Alright, universe. Kill confirmed. Ready to rock. Need a resupply. Epi. Shoots. Oh, and he even gets a hair trigger. Fantastic. Well, heads moves up. And Hayward, to be honest, can move all the way up there. Epi. Reloads. Overwatches. Heads overwatches. And Universe also overwatches. So, like I said, there are going to be a few more patrols. And the way that we want to engage those patrols is by making sure that we're on a tight overwatch trap. Two up here, and Universe uh, takes position down here, quote unquote down, it's still high ground, but just a little bit lower high ground. And now the idea is to wait a few rounds to hopefully catch them uh, unaware or with their pants down. I would guess... There are two more patrols, one of which will come to that section here in the front, and one of which might be a bit further to the back, so gotta be careful. Of course, the Lost Swarms don't make it easier, they actually make it a bit more difficult for us. There is definitely still another another patrol. Well, so much for that. The cinematic does not allow us to take a look at anyone. There is no one here. Sometimes you can kind of look through the fog of war and see enemies that would be hidden elsewise. So it appears uh, that the movement actually happens from inside of the building, which in return lets me leaves me to believe that we need to start moving a bit further ahead. Of course, after killing the loss. Very good. Good to go. Negative ammo. I'm spent. No longer a threat. The cool part about tracer rounds and high ground with rookies is at least targets in the open for the first time can can somewhat reliably be hit. So you only need ammunition and high ground and no cover for rookie to somewhat reliably hit. Which means all of the bony that you can get 
and none of the disadvantages. Okay, let's give it another round and see if the enemy is walking into us. If the answer is no, we're going to advance. And most certainly we're going to advance with uh, the guys that do not have our heavy weapons. So heads here on the one hand, we'll move all the way to there. And let's move over here. Good, we get the cinematic. It's time for some more Overwatch. And we're just going to go in afterwards. There's another high ground over here. So that's the next position I would like to play for. We just need to be careful to not be caught in transition, which is always an important thing. Never be caught with your pants down. All right, universe transitions all the way up here. And we still got at least two, respectively three overwatches, so we're good. Very soon we're going to see more losts, which means for now, let's aggressively move forward. Okay, we could have multiple ways of dealing with that. The easiest is a sniper. Another one is just exploded. Um, well, we only have one explosion and from my point of view, that would be a bit wasteful to use it. Yet another one would be to actually move up and start shooting it down. And of course, we're somewhat caught with our pants down. Because the moment that we're transitioning, Evan decides to move in. That's okay though, very soon we're going to see more losts. Fortunately our overwatches were not good. And they do have a tower, which also means we can't get really good angles. Uh, tracking shot doesn't make it easier, so... We went from a somewhat okay situation to a not so okay situation. Luckily for us, we also got the loss, and as long as we got the loss, everything's going to be all good. The most dangerous game, hardly. So, if we were to move up here, that's full cover Roger that. out of the tracking shot. And a high ground. Not perfect in order to get the trooper, but it sort of gets the job done. So, starting to deal some damage. Universe, uh, we can keep him in reserve. I'm wondering, shall we... I think, meh. That'll be in tower range. Uh, that's clever. They do have this tower here. All of this will be in range. So he has a rock solid position back there. Unless, of course, we want to get into tower range. Can't yet get to uh, uh, to the upper side so we're taking full cover instead and let's continue with the advanced trooper okay so far the rupees are doing very very well good 
Look, this would be a fantastic position. Unfortunately, we're not flanking because there is a massive chest in the way. This here definitely would be good, but still not flanking. I wasn't appreciating that this chest actually covers line of sight. What we could do is we could go to here because he will not uh, move to here and flank us because he would be flankable from here. And that is one option. The other one is just buckling down here. On my way. And taking a nice little overwatch. Equally so, full cover on that side. So everybody is in full cover now. Ah, the overwatch shot missed. Alright, stasis, not the worst. I was fearing mind control a little bit more, but we would have had counterplay for that as well. And now with the loss, we might even be able to get to the tower, right? I can see further than you think. Okay. Time for the loss to show. Ooh, okay, well... can't get to any of those positions but we can move to here all right one down two down Okay, we can't hit this guy. Unfortunately, we cannot hit him either. Very nice line of sight there. Rolling. All right, Overwatch. Uh, the purifier is Overwatch. not close enough. Overwatch. But we're taking Overwatch mainly also to deter that lost. And there we go, Sustenance Sphere. Very good. Well, look at that. The tower is being attacked. And they are storming the front, which is great. Because the tower really has incredibly poor aim. Um, if you're shooting on equal grounds. Alright, come on. There we go. Very nice. That's what I wanted to see. Fantastic. Plan worked out just fine tower took some damage that's good that's good that's a start I'm watching you. okay that's unfortunately not going to work out for us gotta move somewhere holy moly fun part is he even hits you inside of the building Let's start 
with uh, somewhat thinning out the horde. Okay, the tower is not going to attack us as long as it has better targets up there, which I hope it has. So let's try to take a couple of shots. Tower takes some more damage, great, fantastic. Epi reloads and Hats has reloaded. We're taking two overwatch shots against the priest. Yeah, that's a problem because he now took over someone with Overwatch. Luckily, the Losts are still moving, <clears throat> so the Overwatch will go into the Losts. Alright. Continues to miss, and we're continuing to try to hit it. Come out, come out wherever you are. All right, come out, come out wherever you are. There we go. Tower is starting to solve itself. Gotta move somewhere. This here looks like a risky plate. Is actually not because we can very much hit the tower and the purifier will not attack us. Let's get rid of Mr. Priest. There we go, got our mind control back. Epi takes care of the tower, which was very important for us. At the same time, the lost that are attacking us need to die. Nice, very good. Good head smooths up. And we have flanked this guy, which is our opportunity. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's take one overwatch. Okay, we're still in line of sight. We're still taking the tracking shot. Great. Gotta take that high ground here sooner or later. We can't be bullied around like that. On the upside, the tower is gone and we're just dealing with the losts. On the downside, we're dealing with the loss. Lots and lots and lots and lots of lost. Okay, not very good chances to hit anyone. This here looks better. Epi at uh, his best with the tracer rounds. He's the man. It was the obligatory 90-something percent miss. Can't really move anywhere without it being problematic. And we can't move and reload, so might as well just get out of here. Ground. 
Ooh, okay. Well, that m will maybe cost us one of our mimic beacons. Very unfortunate discovery. Good. Time to clean up as much as we can, really. We got two shots, might as well go into full cover from these newcomers. And equally so, let's get rid of the remaining dashers. Reloading. Yeah, I think it's the safer play to, to go with the Mimic Beacon here. Okay. Okay. Well, nice. Starts with a crit. That's what you want to see, right? Not exactly sure why they would not attack the Mimic Beacon. All right, well, fantastic. We're clean to go. Do we have blue screen rounds here? Tracer rounds, okay. And I think here we had blue screens, okay, very good. Uh, we gotta save that other Mimic Beacon, you never know when it will come in handy. Moving a bit closer. We need to deal with the loss and with that uh, mech right now. But I think someone else can theoretically deal with the loss, so doesn't need to be her. Gotta hate those 90% shots that are missing. Could move down to here. So one down, and the others are not 100% shot, so we got to be careful here. Could also fall back. Time to go for the mag first. Very good. So uh, some of our issues. Still got some targets here. They might want to take first. Moving out. Good. We're moving over here. Full cover. Next turn, we can even move over and heal. Overwatch shots, quite frankly, will not be more accurate than this 76%, and unfortunately, that one missed. So, we're going to take some more damage. Potentially two more, if both of them are hitting. Unless, of course, these guys here decide to grow a pair of balls and start killing those losts. They somehow don't do that, but instead continue to uh, to attack us, which is a bit annoying. You could hide, eh? 
Yeah, hit him, but did not kill him. Okay. Well, too bad. We're going to have those two straggler, uh, strugglers here. Took one point of damage. Okay. It isn't great. And Hayward, yet again, is exposed. Let's just kill those guys first. Move all the way to here. Let's see what else we can do. Look, this here would be a perfect flank. I like it. Let's start with it. 90%. Good, that loss needs to go down. Worked like a plan. Hayward. This is dangerous. So I can. Gotta be careful. Oh no. Oh no. That was a misclick. Well, at least we can carefully get back into cover. The lost bodies sometimes block uh, what you can and cannot do well it comes down to 60 percent shot then did not work they could carry explosives so gotta be careful here Another 50-50. I think we're going to go for it. I want to save the Mimic Beacon for later. Come on. Didn't work out. Overwatch plus tracking shot is a nasty combination. Lost swarms equally are quite nasty. Oh boy, this is more of a warfare mission than I thought it would be. Specifically, uh, the loss this time are causing quite a bit of disturbance. Really annoying. Moving up, and let's kill this guy. No there we go, he's finally down. Heads moves over here. No bueno, my friend, no bueno. We're using the mad kit heal just to top off. We're still surprisingly good, all things considered. Uh, if you do not take uh, the aim into account that we're showing, the aim is surprisingly poor, all things considered. Oh. Okay, shot like true rookies, guys. Well done. Well done. Good, he might be interested to engage with us soon-ish. Which indicates that there aren't that many packs left. 
But it also indicates that we need to stand together as a team. Because the moment that he engages, we need to sh shoot him with all we got. Are you kidding me, really? Okay. You better step up your game. It's incredibly annoying. Alright. We got to deal with those laws. Specifically, the dashers are a real problem. I need to advance in order to push that area. At the same time, uh, I'm being denied high ground continuously. Because of uh, the Chosen, who, by the way, is over here. So I'm not falling for his trap uh, that suggests I should uh, take the high ground. Because he could spot me out and then he would essentially engage us by ourselves without uh, the other rookies and like I mentioned we've got to be very very uh, much grouped up if we want to deal with him So, let's just get a tiny bit further back. We're using this time to reload. I assume we're not going to uh, take a hit, but who knows. Next idea, we're going to take this high ground here and are going to advance on the high ground. Losses are getting ridiculous. All right. Good, good, very good. Now let's start to move up. Moving all the way over here. That's affirmative. This will trigger the next cinematic. But we're going to go upstairs. There is yet another pack inside here. What I would want to do is make sure that we're not accidentally triggering them. Good, everybody moves up. Next stop, we're going to take the high ground. And from there, hopefully, we can uh, take more agency of the situation. It's a combination of the continuous uh, pushback that the uh, Chosen is giving us and our inability to push through a wall of like 30-ish... Lost, plus, of course, a um, one of uh, the patrols at the same time. Heading to that location. All right, there's another patrol, the last one here. We're reasonably ready for those guys. As ready as a person can be. We got another mimic beacon, which we're certainly going to use in order to prevent this here from escalating. I, got nothing. On Overwatch. I said Overwatch, and yeah, let's let's just use the mimic beacon. Might motivate the mutant to move out uh, of its cover 
into the open so that we can kill it. Yep, there we go. That's the melee attack. Very nice. He could not resist the urge to do it. Alright, got a couple of losts. Luckily, with our high ground position here, we're actually relatively well positioned to deal with though uh, with them. Good, we can move over here. Starting to block the ladder. Uh, not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. We're unfortunately in level range if the tower was uh, to take a shot, so we can't pull through with it. If it would be just for this pack, we would be fine, but it is not. Luckily, we got an execution when we needed it. That kind of gets us out of jail for now. Moving up. Ooh, not bad. That solves the tower problem. And this would solve uh, the guy. more dangerous well he will shoot some of the loss so he's actually on our side somewhat um, we could position ourselves up here with hats outside of tower range I think I like the odds Time to get rid of the tower. Got no ammo. Oh, we even got a hair trigger. Well, unfortunately not an auto loader. Good, time to deal with some of the losts. Specifically the dashers could be a problem, so let's take this guy out. He still has two targets. Good. Time to chew through as much of that lost swarm as possible. Because I do have the distinct feeling that we're going to see more of the losts very soon. Yeah, we're just going to reload. And I leave the two down there. Okay. Incoming fire. This mission is a surprisingly tough nut to crack. I think it is uh, influenced by that continuous over uh, tracking shot fire. Which just makes it anno uh, annoying. We need to move. That costs a lot of actions in itself. The loss and tracking shot together are a problem. Good, we got a uh, nice little target neutralization there. But 
This would put us into the open. At the same time, <clears throat> it would us allow us to hit that guy. There is a 66% chance, which isn't too bad. Gotta be careful not to trigger the Chosen, but how about we're reloading? Hetz is in a decent position here. <coughs> Let's just get rid of the lost first. Merely a distraction. And this could be a nice little hit. Nope. Fortunately, it is not. Yeah, we gotta get out of range. Nice little overwatch, overwatch. We can't just stand here, we're going to be we're going to be flanked very soon. What we could do is we could move to here and then take a shot. We have enough hit points to take the retaliation. This here at least is cover. He can flank us here, fair enough, but maybe we're even killing him. Alright. 40% crit chance. Got him to consider his life choices again. Oh, wow. More enemies. I mentioned it before, I will mention it yet again. I gotta move this uh, pack. Else this is going to be uh, this is going to be an issue. And for now. It's mainly reloading time. Okay, well, so far so good. All right, we are back. A bit of a disappointing development uh, shortly after the last video. The game crashed and uh, that forced me to basically restart. When I restarted, we were all the way back on this building, so I had to completely replay that entire part. Which is why you're seeing some of uh, the enemies lying at different positions. We still fought through quite a few losses down here. There are, however, a few differences that I should highlight. Um, number one, I didn't need to use a medkit. I will, for the remainder of the, this mission, treat this medkit as if it would have been dispensed, so that is just not available. Um, other than that, uh, the Mimic Beacons were also not used, but since we've already used uh, them, they are gone from the inventory. Just assume they are not here. Um, of course, if you kind of know like I did uh, what to expect, things are much smoother. So I saved you the time for the replay, but I want to get that same level of excitement going. So what I did is I ex exactly repositioned everybody on their original position. I just needed to, yeah, except the fact that we haven't lost all of uh, the hit points yet so we're a little bit better off with the hit points um, heads here had uh, four hit points if i'm not mistaken and um, we had lost two hit points or one hit point on hayward other than that um, very same situation there is one more pack back there that we have seen i unfortunately never got the luxury of being able to engage them but we're going to change that now because I would want to engage them in the same vein let's make sure that we're spreading out nicely so we can flank them if needed 
And that's really the story of XCOM from time to time. Uh, the game just crashes and resets your save, which is really, really unfortunate. But I hope you can also appreciate that that is part of the rea reality of playing an Iron Man campaign. You simply don't have the luxury of sometimes influencing these things. From time to time it just happens and you gotta deal with the whatever Good copy. Moving on target. Um, whatever cards you're dealt with. I'll be careful here. Don't want to trigger them yet. I want to basically get a very solid position on this end and be close enough to drop down if needed into a flanking position. At the same time, it certainly doesn't help that another lost swarm appears. Maybe it helps in order to show us where the enemies are. Wonderful overwatch shots, guys. You are just delightful to watch. Okay, let's do the best out of uh, this unfortunate situation. We have one more pack and we got the Chosen. And I saved uh, the one consumable I didn't want to compromise on, which is the rocket launcher for the Chosen. So this is going to happen. But Double Viper plus Codex is a nasty pack to deal with. For now, I don't want to engage that pack on top of what we're anyways dealing with. So careful advancements. Okay. Gathering now is what he meant to say. Hayward is reloading. Just don't want low ammunition to be in our way. There are more losts and we're potentially going to take one of those tracking shots again. You gotta hate them. You just got to hate them. At least we're getting all of the lost down. Still concerned about that last pack. Pretty sure it is somewhere. Time is running out, Commander. Let's feed heads a couple of kills. Very good. Reloading. And Hayward continues. Target eliminated. Effie moves over here. And we're going to kill the Lost. Target Back on Equally, we're reloading. And I gotta be careful here. For now, let's just overwatch. But where is that pack? Where is that pack? Would be great if they would be walking into a straight trap. But I think that's potentially asking for too much. Okay. We have a lot of shooting angles here. Just want to be careful. Where is where is the enemy? Can't move here because we would be getting grilled. Moving out. Moving. All right. Overwatching. I think we're 
we're having all of the angles uh, very well covered. It's just a matter of the enemies needing to run into us. Unfortunately, another swarm appears, which just makes that mission so much uh, more dragged out. Will I be able to engage the the chosen with being on high ground? That's a good question. I don't want to engage him when there is another pack. I would like to get that last pack out of the way. Pretty sure they must be somewhere here. Keep on going. Very nice. Lots of headshots and the enemies are gone. <sighs> that was unfortunate. Hey, Wired Overwatches, Epi Overwatches. Still don't know where the last pack is. They must be somewhere around here. Chosen is barely, ever so barely out of range. If we were to move down here, we would definitely engage him. It's risky if we're if we're going in and if we're starting to engage him and the pack adds on top of it, that could be quite fatal. That could be quite fatal. On the other hand, what am I supposed to do? We can't wait forever. At some point we gotta make a move, right? Right. Epi, kills, reloads, then kills again. I would have gotten rid of those guys first too. Good, we're moving all the way up here. I will engage the lo uh, the chosen next. Rock and roll. Moving to Overwatch. Let's rock. Yeah, we gotta engage the chosen next. He's very, very close. It's just a matter of time. Somehow he still has line of sight. Of course, a single loss is left over. Well, fantastic. Enemy destroyed. Okay, gotta be careful here. And next turn, I would like to engage him. Epi reloads and heads overwatches. Let's get it on already. I'm watching you. Understood. The word. Taking positions as far to the front as possible. Already there. Hayward continues to stay where she's at. I'm on it. And next turn, Hetz is going to start engaging. 
It's the first time I got a signal, which kind of indicates uh, the double uh, vipers are down there. Okay, that might be a perfect timing. We can pick him out. Uh, pick him out. Double trick, uh, double pull. I wanted to prevent that from happening. If you didn't interfere with this facility, Commander, not to spoil the surprise, but it's kind of important to this whole scheme of theirs. It's one of the elders chosen. All right, so where are our blue screen rounds? Down here. Moving to here would give us full protection, but it also costs us one more potential soldier that can shoot the loss uh, that chosen. We got to deal with the Codex though. If uh, if the Codex survives, we do have a really really big problem. Blue screen rounds, however, is deadly. Seventy-seven percent. Somewhat talking myself into into the option of killing the pack instead of the chosen. To jump down, but that'll be super dangerous. Can we kill the Chosen? Quick question, Saiken. Let's commit to getting the Chosen. Good, so that would remove uh, the entire cover and harm him. Ready for the fireworks. Plus spawn a pack of uh, loss, which isn't too bad. They are now very valid targets for everyone around to deal with them. Great. Let's get the dashers first. Target eliminated. One down. Two down and we're going to use the last shot on the Chosen. We start our turn with an empty magazine. That's a pretty damn good chance. And he dodges it. I'll chalk that up to beginner's luck. Moving to here to not get po uh, to not get both of them poisoned. Let's get the dashers out of the way. No, that dasher is too far away, that's good. And the tree prevents us from hitting the other dashers. Well, in that case, 91%, come on, execute. Nah. Instead, we get a solid miss. Thought process was okay, execution. So and so. Immune to your stupid poison. Thank you. And luckily the Chosen also isn't the brightest candle. 
Speaking about which, he actually started to burn. Oh yeah, and a couple of uh, the loss are on our side. Fantastic. Brittle. Well, that is some brutal damage for him. I like it. And I also like what I'm seeing here. Good. Full cover and a nice angle combined with crit is exactly what we were looking for. We move over to here. Hmm. First of all, start with thinning out the loss here. The ones that would be capable of reaching us, I just want to get rid of them. We got two shots. Let's make sure we're focusing the lost, uh, the chosen, sorry. Go for the Viper, could go for him. I think we're focusing the Viper first. 80% miss, unfortunate, very unfortunate. Drop down here. What's our chance for the Viper? 74%. I'm not giving up my high ground. No, 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 no. Just thin them out far enough so that we can reasonably uh, work with it. This is still more than the Chosen can handle. And at the same time, let's get rid of that Viper. Holy shit, apparently that's not as easy as it seems. On my way. Heads moves up, full cover. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Chosen is burning. We got a few lots on our side. We're well spread out. And he's summoning. That's unfortunate. Smells like my reinforcements are just... Oh, that's a bad position. Oh wow, that's an even worse position. What a mobility. What a bullshit maneuver. You really think you can hide from me? Good, so this here is going to flank him. Nice little damage, unfortunately not good enough. Time to deal with the lost. That's one down. And we got to also deal with his summonings. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Closing on target position now. 
Moving slightly back into a flanking position and let's hit him. Yeah, I didn't get it. All right, this is going to be closer than I would have expected. He stopped the burning. Okay, well, Let's get this that days uh, days is a problem. Luckily, we can should be able to get back. Lots and lots and lots and lots of lost. And it is not looking great. We're sort of bleeding out and have taken quite a bit of damage. Luckily, the losses are trying to help us. Yeah, we don't want hey, we don't want information extraction. Can't can't let that happen, unfortunately. We can't overwatch uh, him, so might as well take shots. He's immune to overwatch. Got a nice hair trigger. Come on, come on. Ooh, that was a hit, but unfortunately he dodged it, it as well. Hmm, he could shoot us from here. That would be an actual problem. Yeah, we gotta play aggressive. I, I need to be able to flank him, so... This last tier needs to go. Very good. Kind of moving back and I think we're reloading instead of overwatching oh boy what a tough mission Let's hope the losses are going to follow them and are actually attacking them as well. Massive grapple in the other direction. We do have a problem. Hetz is very likely going to not survive. I wouldn't see how we can uh, rescue him. I mentioned I don't want to use the uh, med kit because it technically had already been used. And although the turn was a lot of BS, it's just part of fighting the Chosen and part of the challenge. Gotta stay true to it. It's likely go we're likely going to see another victim. Running low on ammo. Enemy 
Good repositioning. Need a resupply. Out of line of sight here, which is good. Problem is, uh, we we're out of ammunition. Good, going for full cover. Let's hit him and hit him really well. Oh, finally. Well, that was a costly victory. We're still not over the hump. Highly injured here. Hayward can reload. And Epi half, half uh, cover just to be a good target. I don't want to have another crit against us. All right, the losses are now coming in. And this is going to be interesting. Many, many, many losses to deal with. At the same time, they are getting uh, the few troopers down. Fantastic. All right, sorry, heads. I appreciate your service. And your sacrifice was not uh, in vain it was for the greater good getting the black side vial all right moving up let's hope we're not dealing with two lost to dashers here. That's a lost. A lost and a dasher. All right, dasher needs to die. The other two might not be able to reach us. Well, we don't know that, so might as well overwatch. And if someone steps up the ladder, we can kill it. Now it's just a loss in us. Well, so much for not being in danger. Never trust your overwatch. That's a lesson that I've learned with rookies. up to another high ground position Nailed it. very good i want that loot oh advanced repeater that was a great item we're blocking this uh, pair of stairs 
and Epi overwatches. Another lost swarm, really. We can jump down, get the black side vial. But we also need to get the corpse. Heads did have valuable gear and we can't just let that go to waste. Good. Hayward will be the one carrying the vial. Enemy destroyed. I'll get him next time. On oh, yeah. Good. Moving up. Pick up our unit. And let's get as far away as possible. Not 100% sure why we couldn't see that uh, lost beforehand. But we got one overwatch. So if he moves over, we at least could try to shoot. for once the overwatch hits okay well we still got more loss to come plenty full of losts yeah luckily we got armor Good. We're positioning ourselves right up there on the staircase. So this stasher here needs to die. Very well. With it, we're taking that position and we still got two more losses that we can take out. Before we need to reload. Alright, reloading. Hayward. Needs to stand her ground here. I need to get the vial. He can take a few hits if needed. Enemy eliminated. Target down. Drain an ammo fast. All right, that's the best we could have done. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we still only have uh, like four shots. No extended magazines yet. I needed to prioritize scopes and repeaters. Okay, well, let's get the 96% miss out of the way, shall we? Enemy Good riddance. Good. Placing the corpse down. This gives us time to also reload. And next turn we can engage in combat again. I gotta get that vial out of here. I might need some help. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Hostiles pacified. We're 
green to go. Yeah, let's pick it up. Unfortunately, we gotta run as well because, yep, reinforcements are going to join us. acquisition of the sample move to rendezvous at the extraction point good i'm just rushing as far as i can so that we can potentially even get out next turn overwatch up. and overwatch so we might be able to kill one of uh, the enemies that are dropping What a harsh mission. What a harsh mission. Okay, well, one of them is down. Great. Fantastic. Certainly doesn't help the case that there are even more loss. Oh boy. It somehow feels like the 1500s swarm that is coming in. Alright, heads. At least you can get a proper burial. Oh, barely, ever so barely out of range. But that's okay. Okay. Ooh. They might fight it out down there. There is no shortage of potential targets and the loss should... Should make short progress uh, in the process with both of them. Yeah, so they are. Some of them are charging up. Uh, the rest, I would assume, is potentially staying down there. It's interesting how they are intuitively trying to block us from not leaving. And how fitting. Kill the last two shots and the lost and we are just evacuating. Holy moly. Holy macaroni. That might have been a hundred kill mission. So we killed him and that's 130 enemies. Ho, ho, ho. And look at that. Heads with 9 kills, everybody else has 30 plus kills. Hayward netted 65 kills. Got the black side vial. That also now reduces uh, the timer by uh, the uh, project by 2 and resets the timer, which is great. Advanced stock, good. Advanced repeater even better and another normal repeater. The game just tempts me to use repeaters, guys. I, I don't know. The outcome is perhaps I don't know. It is clear the aliens Good. So viper autopsy soon done. This matter for you to investigate, Commander. For now, we've at least fought back the Avatar project. Let's continue making contact. We, we still have enough intel to really push on. You're becoming 
and resistance network uh, resistance network will help us to even expand faster so we had an overall successful um, report despite him again telling us that we are worthless individuals with two of them permanently lowering our income that's going to suck got to potentially uh, counter the left behind it's too strong to just go through could go for one additional resistance contact but i think we're instead taking extra rewards and still the plus three mobility Great. Um, that's not too bad. I, we could have used we could have used it on our last mission. So let's see what we've gotten this time. Reduce avatar project. Uh, can't do that. This is perfect. Can't do either of those because we don't have a sergeant. <laughs> okay. Well, the game now blocks us completely from doing any mission without a sergeant yeah I look I definitely would assign a mission but that does not work out I wish we could just like take that and not get the reward but just the individual reward i would take health bonuses even if uh, the uh, the rookie needs to be out of commission for 10 days increasing another bond and we potentially need more contacts so that could be something we're building but we're also low on power so matter of fact we're just building Building more power next. In terms of research, I think we were missing a few Alarium crystals, but now is a new month and we have plenty of intel. So let's finish this here. Good, there is another powerful alien guardian, irrelevant for now. New Brazil gives us more income. The local resistance operatives we just made contact with in this region warned us that one of the Well, fantastic. Now we have all three of the chosen against us. Here's the intel the game will slowly but surely go in uh, uh go against us. Let's purchase with the intel that we do have. We gotta take as many advantages as we can. Alarum crystal, yes, please. Anything else that we could take. A rookie for 115 intel? Uh, no. Superior hair trigger, great. Superior expanded, extended magazine is fantastic. We're going to buy that because it's really, really good. The hair trigger isn't bad either. The hair trigger isn't bad either. We would be having enough intel to still connect to um, another region. And the hair trigger would make for a fantastic weapon. Let's buy that. I like it. Okay, uh, we don't need supplies. Making contact here once we build a tower would be 80, and that's just as much intel as we do have left.
Let's finish our current research, which is just one more day. Got more ammunition if we want to. Exosuit. We don't have the trooper corpses. That is lamentable. But we could get another heavy weapon. Hmm. Yeah, all we're going to s just save our Elerium for now. As we will need it for weapon upgrades. So let's save it. I've made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I find Good. We got Battlefield Medicine. That is great. And now we're off to Elerium. Battlefield Medicine would cost us supplies, a core, and corpses. And I think that could almost be worth it. But only if we do have heavier armor. For now, the four hit points are still okay. And we don't have a lot of med kits with us, typically. Good. Power relay. Yes, please. 12 more days, which would sort of free up both of them. Uh, which we can then jointly use in order to excavate here or even take the uh, power coil. This coil could provide that would include Elarium crystals. This here would include even more. Uh, they also include supplies. So I think we're going to go with that central machinery. Another pair of tracer rounds. We are lucky. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. On the other hand, we're getting a lot of alien facilities. So not necessarily that lucky, maybe. Gotta get over here. We're reading you. Good. Let's continue to make contact. Hmm. Saiken, you also needed contacts in order to make contact. Could have used the resistance order. That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, we can use the supplies here. That's not a problem. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. And to be honest, uh, that doesn't make sense because we cannot take anything yet. So might as well start with the clearing. Can't upgrade further yet. Proving ground can't be upgraded. I need some supplies to hire rookies to become um, psi operatives and then hopefully we can expand our roster so a GTS would be the next logical um, space. You saw the same things I did in that facility so now you should understand. This whole run feels like we're continuously behind the curve because we are. Um, it's a nasty feeling. New Let's see what the loot has to offer. I'm not a, the biggest fan of loot, but sometimes you get really decent items. Good, we got bond level 2 right there, so that's good. Can't get another... Can't get another uh, rookie. I'm wondering if we need to fire both of our squaddies in order to give us a higher chance that the resistance, re resistance ring actually has missions. But then again, all of those here are sergeant missions, so 
I think it's just a function of how far you are within the game. At this point, the game simply assumes you do have sergeants. There's no point why you would not. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress. All right, well, we're going to slow them that means we got to get into that facility operation, that man stallion. So uh, the next operation, do we have our prime team available? Yes, we do. Another facility. Boy, oh boy, do I not want to fight against uh, the against the alien ruler. Well, this is going to suck really, really bad. But I can't. Can I? Could I theoretically stop it in any other way? Shadow Chamber facility. Yeah, that's taking way too many resources. We don't have them. This needs to wait. We just gotta hold on for now. That's the un unpleasant reality. So we gotta, yeah, we gotta engage and get into that facility. Stop the timer, stop the expansion, and hopefully we get another facility lead somewhere. We certainly would have reduction if we could use covert actions, but we can't. And let's let's think that through. What do we what what would we need? Um, we need to expand, so the resistance ring is the next natural uh, building that we would need to build. Not the resistance ring, uh, communication uh, center, of course. So once this year is done, comm center uh, needs to get up. We want to force this year to finish, because then we can uh, excavate with full force. We don't need battlefield uh, medicine that fast. Might as well make normal progress, but already start here. Out of curiosity, excavation here would be even faster. So we haven't lost a lot of turns yet. Doesn't give us the same amount of resources, but it's faster. What we can do here is we can then build ASAP uh, the uh, context that allows us to expand further and with the um, immediate expansion we're also capable of um, so once we got like South America we got the continent bonus resistance network so we could immediately get into Africa which potentially is an option but uh, new new Australia would be the better choice cost us 160 Intel but is worth it in the long run. The other option is how fast can we make contact here? That's 160. Never mind. So that one is a no-no. Although we do have a few um, a few potential facilities here. The enemy already has four facilities. That's crazy. So yeah, the natural progression would be go here and uh, then have that lifeline. And from here, we go up to here. There is going to be a connection either to New India or East India. And then we we are we're Gucci because uh, once we are uh, here and haven't lost ter territory, we should be able to uh, at least do both of uh, the facilities. So there is hope. It's not kind of the end of uh, end of days, but it is going to be very, very difficult from here on. Specifically, since we have already lost quite a few uh, soldiers, I am banking uh, in my next run on the full force of uh, these uh, extra actions and uh, the heavy armors that we're taking. We got two of them, and we really need to use them to the f to the fullest extent. That's the only real form of shredding that we have. We're going to get. Uh, we're going to fight the. Uh, the uh, Viper King, and that's a difficult, 
that's a difficult uh, fight without um, without revival protocol. With revival protocol, it's easier. We don't have uh, the frost grenade, so that will make it even more difficult for us. We somehow just gotta get go through uh, through with it. Um, we will lose some hit points. Maybe I'll just pack some more um, med kits. And I'm not sure if if the mind shield protects against frozen. I don't think it does. It's just stunned. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, that will be another very hard mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is definitely an intense run. If you've made it all the way to here, might as well click that like button and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about the last mission. Take care and have a good one. See you soon. Bye-bye.